Hey, what's up, guys? Born Hero Beats here, coming to you live once again with another FL Studio tutorial, and I am so happy. So, uh, I just I just hit one million total views on my channel, and I think that is amazing, guys. And I really, really appreciate you like so much. Let's just get started here. So, what I'm gonna do first here is I'm gonna insert a contact patch. So, the thing about contact, guys, that you need to know is that contact is just made for samples of real instruments so if you want to get real sounding instruments uh stop going to those synthetic type of things like uh let's say like omnisphere or something like that i mean there's really good sounds in there but uh if you want the real deal like raw type of sound uh you want to get contact so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to load in guitar and the guitar that i'm using is 8do ambient guitar okay and that's important guys because there's a lot of guitar patches for contact out there, but I found that 8DO is the best sounding one uh, that I could find. So check out the description. I'll leave a link for the purchase of this. So what I'm going to do first here, guys, is I'm going to right click contact and go into PM or not contact. Sorry. Well, yeah, contact. I'm going to right click the sample and then uh, go to piano roll. So now that we're in piano roll, you can see that there's all these notes that are listed out here. And if you want to see, uh, what each note is you want to go down to this drop down menu you want to go to view and you want to go to uh, key labels and then press all note so what are we trying to think about when we think about our guitar melodies what is making this sound good what is making the sound interesting first off what we're going to want to do is think of an emotion because that is what I uh, tell people the most is when you want to create a beat or a song the best thing in my opinion to do is start out with an emotion and try to match it so this emotion today clearly because you guys know the type of music that I make is going to be sad so and it's also going to be a punk melody so what makes these melodies well what we're gonna do first is without any type of music theory jargon or scale learning any of that all we're gonna do is I have my keyboard right here okay MIDI keyboard I suggest that you guys get a MIDI keyboard because it's actually very helpful and uh, it, you know everything translates to a keyboard so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna pick any key on our keyboard okay any of these notes so I mean all you have to do is just play and listen okay so I found F sharp that is the note that I want to start on so F sharp and then what we're going to do from there, the only thing we have to do is go up the keyboard and find a note that matches it, that sounds good with it. So you'd play the note together with whatever you're trying to achieve. So that's kind of a happy sound, you notice that? So. I like these two notes together so F sharp and C sharp and then what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna keep going we have these two notes and what I want to do is find another note uh, you can always make a melody with two notes uh, being played back to back uh, that's fine but what I want to do today is get three notes so Okay, so we have our first three notes here. Very simple, right? So now what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> we're gonna lay this out here. All right, boom, boom, boom. And what we're gonna do is repeat it. So boom, boom, boom. And also what we're gonna do is, this is also very important when it comes to melodies and your beats is, um, a lot of beats sound the same nowadays because no one changes the tempo. They always keep it at 130. But the thing is, uh, different tempos are going to give you a different type of sound and effect, a different type of emotion. The faster you go is going to be um, more energy. So what I'm going to do here is click tap. And in my head, I had dun, dun, dun. So it's going to be dun, 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 dun. And that's too fast, I laid it out too fast, so. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. 
Okay, and now what we're gonna do here, guys, and this is this is gonna blow your minds if you don't know how to make melodies. We're gonna control and, and click and uh, drag, and that's gonna select all these notes. Then I hold shift, and then we're gonna duplicate it. <clears throat> so you may be thinking, Born Hero, where do I go from here? Okay, I have these three notes, but where do I go? Well, here's something great, guys, because these punk melodies and these guitar melodies actually sound really good if you only change the bottom note. And this bottom note would be considered a bass note. So uh, how do you know it's a bass note? Well, it's the, it's the lowest point on the melody. So what are we going to do here? We're just going to change the bass note. So we're going to listen to this. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. <laughs> Melody's wrong. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Just had to rearrange it. You know, rearrange to fit it as well. Uh, <laughs> you know, playing it uh, at different um, playing at different times is good. So here we go. Uh, so I'm gonna play this, and I want to hear it go dun 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 dun, which is down. We're gonna go down. So we're gonna. And I like that note. So what I'm gonna do is pu push that down by uh, pressing shift and down button on the keyboard okay and where do we want to go from here oh well what we can do is <clears throat> if we're trying to keep the same type of emotion going the, the same type of energy and vibe what we can do is we can copy that and then bring it over here so we're gonna go back up to the bottom note which is also co called the root note of the chord so uh, so now what I'm going to do is duplicate this again, and then we're just going to go somewhere else on this part. So the good thing about these melodies is you want to keep them re repetitive. You want them as repetitive as possible so it can be memorable, but you also want change-ups as well. So you want things to, you know, progress. That's why it's called the chord progression. You know what I mean? So we're going to go... And then what we could do, so here's something to note. If you go down one note, which is one half step from where you're at, it's going to cause a tense type of feeling and it's going to cause um, type of uh, some type of a, a sad or dark energy. So this is a half step. You always want to remember trying to do these half steps when you're trying to make something sad or angry um, because uh, an, one note in between, you know, that is just a... Uh, that's just what they did in a uh, scary movie. So if you ever listen to a scary movie uh, soundtrack, you'll hear it going dun, 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 like that. So now I'm going to play the melody. I think it sounds pretty good. So now that we have our bass melody out of the way, and this is what we're going to use for the whole track, um, we're gonna go with a top line melody and what is a top line melody well it's what it says so we have these being uh, being plucked on the bottom which is like uh, these will be considered like chords okay so we're thinking of these as like chords and what do you do after you've made chords well you can do a melody on top of it which is going up an octave and what is going up an octave that is going up you see these numbers six seven we go up to seven because we're at six right now so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a note within the scale that we've chosen. Now, I know that I wasn't gonna say anything about music theory uh, or learning scales and that's fine, but the thing is you'll notice when your uh, sound is in key or in scale because uh, the note will sound good, you know? Uh, you just pick any note from this keyboard and then you try to, you know, kind of match it, whatever sounds the best to you. And this is gonna be, Training your ear. You're gonna have to train your ear to get to this point. You're gonna have to keep making beats and all that Trust me. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that you can learn in a book, but book learning is not gonna take you uh, as far as Experience on yourself and that's for anything. I think uh, really in life. Well, not everything, you know, like <laughs> You know, you can't experience like some sort of crazy chemistry, whatever. So <laughs> here's what we're gonna do We're just gonna pick a note on this top line and we're just gonna go from there so let's play this
Sí. So <laughs> I just discovered a better melody right then. See? So here it is. Okay, it goes. So here's the thing about melodies as well. Uh, after the third, on the fourth, people are going to want to hear some sort of change that's going to remind them that it's the end of the loop. So uh, so you notice that these are all the same, but on the last one, we have a change up. And, and that most of the time, that's enough to keep the listener entertained. You want to keep the listener entertained. That is a very important part. So what is the next step to make this melody even more different and unique? Well, what we could do is we could take these bottom notes right here, which are the bass notes. Hold shift, click, okay? And then we drag it over the same spot. And what we're going to do here is press control down. And that's going to push it down an octave. And what is that doing? Well, that is adding a bass note, quote unquote, which is deeper than the top bass note. And what that's going to do is that's going to add more drama to it. This is how you can add a change up. Like during your chorus, you could just have the, uh, the bottom bass part playing as well as the top one. So... And here's what you could do here as well is you could put a another type of uh, another type of structure for the bottom part so it's playing uh, more than the top part boom, 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 boom. so we can make our own little type of melody here dun, 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 and see how this sounds So we have our basic melody here. Congratulations, we have completed a melody for the beat. And now uh, what you could do is you just arrange it and take stuff out and add stuff as you please. So um, how do you change this melody even more? How do we make it more than just a little guitar melody? How do we make it like, uh, how can we test out creative things is what I should say. What can we add to this? So what we can do is we could take contact, click this drop down area, and then press route to free mixer track and that's going to send it to the mixer uh, you can also press control l after you selected the sampler so here is gross beat and what gross beat does is it kind of just glitches stuff out and it, it it does a lot more than that but that's the basic explanation i have for you today so take it or leave it so we're in gross beat right now and in gross beat um i know people get told this a lot for like trap melodies and stuff if you have something that is too extra or too fast you can take it into gross beat and change it up and make it slower and how do we make it slower well we go to presets we go to momentary okay and then we go to half speed and that's going to slow everything down by half so what this does is it slows it down by the amount that is shown on this timeline and uh it also drops it down an octave so let's play this now And I actually really, really like the sound of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this because that's incredible. Way. Uh, so we're in F sharp right now. We have our melody that's in F sharp. But you can create different um, emotions by changing the key of the whole thing. Like, um, don't feel like you're stuck to one key if you've created it. If, you, if you've made like a structure that sounds really good and you're like, well, something kind of sounds off here and it's not the notes that I pick, but for some reason it's just the overall vibe of it. What we, what we can do is we can press Control A and then we press Shift down or up and it's going to move everything up or down one half step and that's going to change the key. Oops. Okay, so now I can play it. Now it's uh, in F. So let's play that. And that's just a completely different emotion, it feels like. It feels a little bit more sad. 
and drop it down more to like maybe C sharp. And I really like that too. See, like th these structures are, you can move these structures to any point. And that's the great thing that in music, it's all about the structure you've created, not not so much like exactly the notes that you're picking. So you pick a structure, you can move it up and down, and you could, you know, you can do anything with that. You could you could do so many things with that, and you can make sure that your stuff is sounding is beautiful or more more like the emotion or vibe that you wanted from the beginning. And this is just this is great, you know, and. It, <laughs> And I think, I really hope this helps you guys out, honestly. I think this is, um, you know, it's not very hard to do. And people want to uh, make it seem a lot harder than it is. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope that you learned something. And this was all brought to you thanks to my brand new computer. It's been so long since I've been able to make one of these tutorials. And I couldn't have got this brand new computer without you guys. So thank you very much for subscribing. And make sure you guys bang that bell so you get notifications for every time I upload. So there's going to be brand new beats and all that. Oh my god, just... Ah, I fucking love you. I just want to hug every single one of you. One million views!